Hey, hey Lions, welcome back to another episode. And this week, there was a Women's Month event hosted in the auditorium after school. Let's check that out. Seniors, make sure you check out your Google Classroom Class 2025. If you would like to rent out a tux or a dress, you must fill out a form, so check that out. Hey, next there was a NASA event in the auditorium. Let's go take a look at that. Hey, who am I here with? Hi, I'm Matthew Pierce from NASA's Office of STEM Engagement. Okay, what exactly do you do for your job? Well, I do a lot of things, but I mostly lead the education efforts for NASA's Office of STEM Engagement at the NASA Goddard Institute for Space Studies in New York City. I also work with NASA's uh, Office of STEM Engagement Next Gen STEM team, who is responsible for bringing this ISS downlink to the, to the school here today. We think about all of the amazing science that NASA brings to studying planets and the earth and climate. So I really love being at that intersection of hope and opportunity where I can work with students to really connect to and be part of NASA. That's a wonderful thing to do. And just one last question, how does it feel to bring this event here and be part of it and just being able to see how enthusiastic kids are about this? Uh, this is a very special day for us and our team. Um, today is a long conglomeration of a lot of events. We had the, the privilege to have your teacher, Sangman, come work with us at the Goddard Institute for Space Studies in the Climate Change Research Initiative Program. And Sangman helped work and lead research teams and develop curriculum and do community STEM engagement events with her graduate student, Lily, who's also here, who helped set this event up. So this has been a plan for a very, very long time. And it's really special to see how Lily and Sangman came together to think about this school and these students and this community to again connect with NASA's mission and work. Um, so it's, it's, really, it, it's really very special. It really is because one, I get to be here with my friends. It's great to be here with Dr. Legrand. But most importantly, it, it's so awesome to be here with the future of NASA. And every student in this building and in this room and in this community has an opportunity to come and work with NASA. I'm Meredith Gorman. I'm a reporter at Fox 5 in New York City. Okay. And we just wanted to ask you, what does your everyday job look like? So every day, it's something a little bit different. I started my career mostly doing sports reporting. So I covered the NFL and like the Patriots, um, NBA basketball, golf, you know, every sport. And then I moved to New York and now I'm covering everything sports and news. So on a typical day, I go into the office and I don't find out really what I'm covering until I get in. What caught your attention to come and look at this event and how do you guys plan to, you know, incorporate that into like your news program? Yeah, so we're going to air this story tonight on the news and I think there's people in the newsroom who go through every event that happens pretty much every day around the city and they pick things that they think are the most interesting and this caught their eye because I think especially with how recently those astronauts came down from space there's a lot of interest in space right now and how cool is it for students to get to talk to people who are up in space right now I mean that's an opportunity that doesn't really get to happen often or really to anybody like nobody gets a chance to do this um, so they thought that it was really interesting and you know worth doing a story on and it really it, it was so cool and then one last thing can you like do your tag out from when you do your news sure for us? yeah of course um, okay so I'll, if I was doing it right now I would say live from Queens I'm Meredith Gorman Fox 5 News